Hello guys, there's Andy here and just wanted to actually show you an interview by Dina Asher-Smith and this is a great, she's a great learning, it's great a great subject for athletes, especially female athletes to learn from. This channel is all about how to relax while sprinting, while well, she epitomizes relaxation through sprinting and the way she talks in this, vid in this interview is remarkable. It's the way that most athletes, specifically most female athletes, might have trouble doing. And it's obvious that, and she's shown this in actually her competing, how she deals with challenges and how she deals and comes out and turns it to a positive. And that's one major thing that you can actually do that she does and she gets results with. She's actually, I remember a few results, you know, evidence of this was when she actually in 2017 I think it was she came back from something like a six month hamstring injury and to uh, six months off to be, get a bronze medal in the world championships in the 200 meters I think it was 2017 I know she did it or she might have come fourth or third but she got she came back to get a medal and that is one demonstration of someone who didn't let the negativity to get to her in the in the in the racing she also just recently won against some of the world's best athletes in the 100 meters like Shelly Ann Fraser Price and beat her in the pouring rain in Gateshead that was an indication of maybe some of the other athletes saying getting getting um getting who were not used to that bad weather and they just basically let the bad weather get to her get to them and Dina didn't she actually came through and just kept herself focused on what she had to do and she was relaxed what was great was the relaxation in her face in that pouring rain and how she just came through and won it easily against some of the best world's best athletes and it's just another indication of how she comes across obstacles how she turns it to a positive so this interview i'm going to put up here is a great kind of indication of how athletes specifically female athletes can learn from her and how you can look at the the change the obstacles and change it to a positive she talks about being peace with herself it's all about being with peace with yourself and that's magical because that will bring about your your best performances is when you don't put pressure on yourself you notice yourself putting pressure on yourself and you turn away from it the best performances will always be when you don't put pressure on yourself and she doesn't do it specifically in the, the most pressurized situations of competition she's got a great personality and she's got a great view of how to deal with challenges she loves alone time as well she says in that interview as well which is another indication of some of self-love that she likes her own likes herself and she likes being around herself and she doesn't need other people to make her feel happy that's a big indication of someone who who's looking at herself in a positive way and you need to look at yourself in a positive way how do you look at yourself in a positive world? You've got to be in the here and now. And she, a lot of the time, she actually actually spends more time in the here and now. And she doesn't let compulsive thinking bring her down. She doesn't let compulsive thinking bring her down into negativity. This is a great interview. I think it's chock-a-block chock -block with, learning, with learning tools and how to really conduct yourself in terms of pressure. And... Whether she actually got, learnt it herself or whether she got it instinctively, sometimes athletes just instinctively get it. They get competition and how to get the most out of themselves. So it might have been instinctive, might have been, we don't know if nature versus nurture, whether the influence of a family, which she talks about in that, and she talks about, it looks like indicates a strong bond with herself and the fam with both her mother and her dad, which is a is a credit to herself and her parents. So she has a strong foundation there as well. And plus there's a coach that is, is pretty switched on as well. So she has a support network and family is really important to her as well, which is hugely important as well if you got it. But she has all the tools in her life to, to so you can understand why she feels the way she does. So I'm just going to say, just go and watch the interview. There it is again. I'm going to put it down in the description to go and just go and look how it is. When you actually find you relax, relaxed, you become a better athlete. You in a relaxed state is you as a better athlete and you're, you're going to perform at your best, period. When you're relaxed and you don't put pressure on yourself, you, you perform brilliantly. That's a certain. So go and watch the interview. That's for it. And that's it for me. Please like, please share, do all the sharing and stuff like that and i'll see you in the next video